Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing great. Nowadays, uh, there is a question, especially parents who are aspirational, parents who want their children to become IAS, IPS officers. They have this question, uh, when one should start the preparation? Some people are selling the idea that, you know, coaching should be given from the school days itself. Children should start preparing from the school days itself. So I wanted to share my uh, opinion here. Now the examination demands certain intellectual curiosity, intellectual depth among the candidates. And what I've seen is that uh, most of the people start preparing for the examination after graduation. Once they join the coaching center, then they start reading English newspapers, and then they struggle to understand what is written, especially in the editorial. And uh, they lack this, you know, analytical thinking, critical thinking abilities, you know, extracurricular activities. They wouldn't have developed any hobbies or interests. You know, UPSC examination has three parts, films, mains and interview. In interview, the personality is tested. Personality which is rich with ideas, hobbies, interests. The one shows, you know, lots of diversity in their answers, in their the ability to engage, uh, you know, all the five people sitting in the room. So that kind of quality cannot be developed overnight or even in two, three years after the graduation. This is something that must be cultivated from school days. So coming to the point, you don't have to send your children to coaching during PUC, even in the first or second year of graduation, let them develop interest in reading. It can be fiction, it can be non-fiction, it can be reading any general book, it can be magazines, especially reading newspapers. Your child starts reading newspaper, let us say from 6th, 7th, 8th standard onwards. They will not require any kind of coaching when they graduate because by then they would have gained the required knowledge about all the issues. So don't force them to uh, excel only in academic because their attention, their focus will majorly shift towards only excelling in academic and they will always have this fear of, you know, wasting time when they read a paper or when they read, you know, other books. So you have to ensure that learning is endless. Tell them that there is no difference between what they're learning in academics and what they're learning outside the classroom. So and also fill your uh, cupboards or whatever, like, you know, spaces in your house with a good amount of books so that they develop the habit and encourage them to make friendship with uh, people who are equally curious about knowing things, who have developed good hobbies. Encourage your children to participate in extracurricular activities, travel along with them, take them to faraway places, give them good exposure and take them to science fairs, take them to good lectures and uh, slowly encourage them to write also. I mean, uh, let them start with diary writing, journaling and then they can move on to blogging. Just let them write whatever uh, their opinion is without any inhibition and uh, don't try to filter it, don't try to correct them uh, in the sense that uh, let them learn through their own experiences. So if these qualities are somehow inculcated from school days. I know there is huge educational inequality. Every school will not be equipped with uh, that kind of library environment or that kind of uh, motivated teachers. But I think uh, at home, uh, you people can you know help them develop. And if you're somebody, a uh, youngster who is listening, so whoever children, uh, you know, your siblings are there, please motivate them. Uh, one thing, uh, whenever people come for admission, when I ask them question, are you reading any newspaper? So they say that uh, I, becoming IAS was their childhood dream. Like, the dream might have been planted when they were in 8th or 9th standard. They tell that they have never read any English newspaper. For that matter, sometimes they would have gone through a local newspaper now and then, but there is no strong habit of reading newspaper. So UPSC examination is more about general awareness. The more deeper it is, the more diverse it is, and the quicker one can crack this examination. So regarding, uh, you know, tests and mock tests, when they are in the graduation, uh, once they have understood the syllabus, so second part of graduation, they can go for it. And uh, if somebody has done all these things, coaching won't be necessary. Uh, definitely guidance will be required, mentoring will be required so that you can approach any experienced uh, individual who, who have worked in this field or maybe a topper or someone. To sum it up, coaching is not required. Ensure that there is overall development of personality, especially uh, intellectual capacity, uh, right, in your children. So that will take care of preparation for the UPSC examination. And another thing I wanted to uh, tell is that uh, 11th, 12th science is desirable. After 12th, uh, if your child has done really well in board examination, you can send them to uh, humanities in topmost institutions like Delhi University, they have best colleges where the institutions provide freedom to use their creativity and provide opportunities like you know sports and extracurricular activities such institutions will further uh, help them you know develop their social capital and get in touch with uh, competitive people who are ambitious so i think uh, this will take care of overall preparation for the examination as individuals intellectually and uh, overall they will be 
ready to serve the country in the capacity of either IAS, IPS or Indian Foreign Service or any other central services. So I hope you got the clarity. Thank you.